But a friend. Good morning guys, welcome back to the channel. It's me Mick. I am Willow. And we've arrived at Beamish this Eventually morning. We'll get Eventually. Beamish. Yeah. <laughs> um, it's open today, thankfully. Um so yeah we've come to Beamish show you about here, yeah. um open air museum. Out, you know, set back in the nineteen hundreds, eighteen hundreds. Um but you shall see. Um, but we did just stay on the corner last see where we we pulled in last night, we ended up just staying there last night. Yeah, so we'll just stay there, it's just on the corner. We'll have a breakfast and then we're going to go and have a little stroll about here. We'll catch us in a bit. Because this is what gets you around. Yeah. So from here, um, we have two areas which are set in 1913. These are Edwardian. So our pit village, which is working life, if you like, and our town, which is slightly posher, and includes the bank and the pub and the dentists and so on. We also have a 1940s farmyard, a farm area rather, and we have a Georgian area called Pockley, which includes a farm but it's got other things besides. And then our newest area is the 1950s down in this corner still under development, you'll see lots of building work going on, but part of it is now open. Can you imagine all this traffic moving through your house? Have you been in there too? There's a water in the chimney next to the
that you're complaining about the cold. <laughs> You couldn't have it on video game where I'm on Facebook. Oh, I am no, because it. I've been fighting this whole time, coping with it. Because it was five degrees and everything, so I was like, yeah. And then I said yes, I'm embracing the warmth now. What warmth? That's what you said yesterday. Uh -huh. And it was warm then. I was warm yesterday. Today, I'm not warm. But what it is, is my nose feels like it's going to drop off my face. The rest of my body is kind of alright. Hands, freezing, nose, going to drop off my face. But. Look at the side of it, it's all Yeah, we've just had a walk through the Colby Town, um, you know, old coal mines and stuff like that. But, sorry? Oh, yeah, I've got lovely, lo lovely hot fires on, nice and warm. I'd, working here would be great because you just sit, sit in front of the fire all day telling stories. Um, but they're all making, they're, they're busy building the 1950s town. It's currently, I don't know if you can hear us because of the wind, like, but um, the, the, so they're building on that in the minute. But they have got part of it, is it 1950s? Yeah, they've got the hairdresser. The hairdresser and that in the fish and chip shop. So we're going to have a walk down there, we'll have a fly through there. I'm sure he's about there. Enjoy. Look, you can get all tickets, you pay for your tickets, yeah, and your ticket yeah. is valid for a whole, a whole year. year. So it's like 21 pounds. Mm -hmm. So you pay 21 quid and at last you, you can come back as many times as you want. And then the 12, you know, they always have different things on, like Christmas now. We've got the Christmas things on. You know, they have things on at Easter, summer. So 21, I mean, you can't really go wrong for that, can nah, you? not for me. Not for, I mean, and, and this is, is a really good deal because it's so large for a museum. Um, absolutely brilliant deal. If we do bring, little ones, if we do bring kids, I, I would advise if, the, if, the, if they're not walking properly, bring a stroller because all, all we tend to see is really tired old dads with kids on the shoulders because mm -hmm. it is a lot of walking. But it's a lot of fun as well. So we'll catch us in a bit. Got a friend. <laughs> so we're just up for a cup of um, we're gonna warm up because you're numb isn't it? You're really cold today, Jesus me, that's cold. How about taking a photo? Yeah. I've got a couple of pairs of tights on and socks and a jumper and a vest and a coat and a scarf and a hat. Yeah. So you're all the adult and still now. Still. 
Where's the perimenopause? Where do you need them? So we're going to have a couple of more, more um, and then go back out there and get cold again. Yeah? Come into the bakery, guys. Oh, I'm just saying they need to put a carpet down, someone's going to slip because your mouth is jewels. It smells absolutely beautiful in here. This would have been a gas mantle. So we just have big globes on there, and there'll be a gas light coming out of here. You are? <laughs> in the back then. I've got water in my eye. <laughs> oh, that one. Joy to the world, the Lord has come. Let us receive her King. Let every heart prepare a room And heaven and nature sing And heaven and nature sing And heaven and nature sing Joy to the world, the Lord has come. Let us receive her King. Let every heart prepare a room. And heaven and nature sing, and heaven and nature sing, and heaven and nature sing. Well, wait, but here's a fact for you. Catherine Cooks film, The Gambler Man, Robson Green, it was filmed in that pub there, it was.
the sun in. Just if any of you are wondering. Children, <laughs> <laughs> so it must be so tiring for kids having to walk about because it is a lot. A massive place for a museum. I'm going to have a little walk through this fairground. We've just had a little walk through the town there. Early 1920s, that part. Um, like a little confectionery shop, little pub, little, there's a little motoring shop. There's oh, yeah, the cakes to um, try. We're not going in every, everywhere because we can come back as many times as we want. So things that we don't get around the day, we can come back and do it another time. Yeah, yeah. that's the plan. It's turning out to be a nice day. I yeah, it's turning out to be a really nice day, day, isn't it? Um, look at this, look at this. Well, we're going to have a one around here. Yeah. I'm going to see you, did you look up upstairs? Yeah. 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 <laughs> I'll take another chum, right?
See you later, thank you. Later. You can't really see the Christmas lights because it's not obviously dark. So it's not even Christmas yet. I think what we'll do is we'll go back, have something to eat the van. And then once it starts going dark, we might come back down for another walkabout. We're on our way back to the van, we'll put the cup out with Nate, see if we make them one. Um, I look at everyone coming out the secret door. <laughs> it's, secret. it's not so secret then, is it's it? It's not, no. <laughs> um, I think, I don't know if we are. But mate, we'll see, see, how, see how cold Rolas gets, because she's not really feeling herself for day as well, are you? She's not really, you know, and I don't want to push her. Up a cliff today, anyway. Yeah. Not today. Yeah, where's all this coffee? It's gonna be wood or salt. Uh, yeah. Anyway, but regardless, whatever we do, do if we don't come back tonight, like, if we don't come back later on when it gets dark, oh. we will be coming back when it gets dark sometime at some point before Christmas. Because I think in the dark, that, that little woodland bit will look absolutely amazing when that's set up. If you want to have a good look round everywhere, you would need more than one day. It's a good job that the, the ticket you get lasts 12 months because. There's so much to see, there's so much information to find out and learn. I have so much on. People telling the different stories. Yeah, yeah. Stuff. We'll definitely we'll, we'll be back here. Um, whether it's tonight or another night, we don't know yet. We'll have to see how we'll always, like I say, because it is. And it's getting icy again. I'm in a pause, it's kicking in and. I'm trying to ice when she feels flat because it's not like Willow and I'm not used to seeing her like that. I'm hungry. <laughs> oh, and when she's getting hungry, she gets hungry. <laughs> you don't want to mess with her when she's hungry. <laughs> right, well, back with the van. She's dying to get in the van to warm up, right? Catch you in a bit, guys. Mm -hmm. 